I got me here a sack of jalapenos. So let's make some cowboy candy. Now, if you don't know what cowboy candy is, it's uh, basically sliced up jalapenos in a sweet and spicy kind of uh, syrup. Uh, it makes a nice relish, and you can put it on just about anything. Uh, pork, chicken, brisket, anything. It's great for sandwiches. Like I said, anything. So uh, without further ado, let's get chopping. Chop, 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 chop. This step is pretty straightforward. Put on some gloves. Put on some glasses. Well, in this, my case, I need them to see, but uh, any kind of glasses will do. And uh, rinse off your jalapenos and get to slicing. So the thing here is you just want to make about quarter inch slices, seeds and all. Uh, you get down to that little thing and you're probably going to just toss that away. Now, if you get any big monster ones like this, uh, my opinion, this is kind of too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice these in half again, the bigger ones, like this. Yeah. Okay, so I like to add a little bit of color to it. And these are also sweet, so they'll just add to it. Uh, again, if you got some big, big ones like this, maybe cut those in half. Once all your peppers are sliced, you're going to need a few ingredients. Sugar and lots of it, cider vinegar, celery seed, ground turmeric, garlic powder, and last but not least, cayenne pepper. Take out a large pot, don't use a saucepan for this, trust me, and add your ingredients. I'm using five cups of sugar, two cups of cider vinegar, three teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and a half teaspoon each of celery seed and turmeric. Give it a stir and bring it to a boil. And keep an eye on this, because of the sugar, it will easily boil over. That's why you need to use a big pot. Once it's boiling, reduce the heat and simmer for five minutes. Then carefully add the peppers and simmer for four minutes. You've got four minutes. When the four minutes is up, use a slotted spoon or spider and transfer the peppers into your jars. You're going to want to fill the jars up to about where the threads start or a quarter inch from the top. Once you've filled your jars, return the syrup to a boil and boil it hard for six minutes. Has Did you know that cowboy candy goes back over a hundred years and can be traced to a seven-year-old girl named Mindy Hieronymus who worked on the WHH Ranch in San Augustine, Texas? Well, back in 1922, Mindy decided to take the abundance of jalapenos they had and try to make something like bread and butter pickles. And cowboy candy was born. You can still buy cowboy candy at the WHH Ranch. Check out the link in the description. And that's one to grow on. Now back to the show. Okay, when the six minutes are up, use a ladle and transfer this liquid gold into your jars. Use something thin like a knife or a chopstick to make sure there are no air bubbles trapped in the jar. And make sure you have covered the jalapenos completely in the syrup. Now it's time to wipe off the jars and put the two piece lids on finger tight. Put your jars in a canner or a large pot with something on the bottom so the jars don't rattle around too much. Cover with water and bring it to a boil. Boil half pints for 10 minutes and full pints for 15 minutes. After that, transfer to a wire rack or towel and let them cool off for 24 hours. Then, if you can wait that long, put them away for at least two weeks for the flavors to come together. Give me um, two weeks. Hey, welcome back. It's uh, been three weeks. And uh, I meant to do this in, after two weeks, but ended up being three. So we'll see how it goes. Let's pop this open and have a taste. Now I kind of know what it tastes like because I've had it before. But um, let's give it this little stir. Mm. Well, it certainly smells spicy. Mm. 
That's good. It's a little tart, but um, I think it's because of the heat. <laughs> Let me get a drink of water. Definitely has some heat to it, um, but the sweetness kind of counteracts that, and the tartness from the from the um, cider vinegar. <clears throat> It's really good. Let me just do the sweet pepper. See if that's hot. Mm. The sweet pepper by itself, um, still a little spicy. Not as spicy as the jalapeno. Yeah, I like I like the putting the sweet peppers in there because it's a nice little contrast to all the heat that you're getting with the jalapenos. But these still have snap to them. They're still crisp, uh, even after three weeks. Now, what I'll do is I have some plastic covers I'll put on a, after I opened it. I'll put it in the fridge. I really don't know how long they'll last. I mean, it's I'm not really a canning kind of person, so um, I just do it on occasion. I imagine this will last a long time in your pantry, uh, unopened. Um, but like I said, I'm not a canning expert, so I couldn't say how long. Um, and honestly, they never last very long anyway, <laughs> because, you know, we want to eat them spicy, sweet, tart, it's just about everything going for it. And so versatile. I mean, you can put it on hamburgers, hot dogs, sandwiches as a side to brisket, sausage, be perfect. I mean, anything you, you could do relish with, you could do with this. And if you really want to make it a real relish, I guess you could even chop it up even further into tiny little bits. I might experiment with that, actually. So this, this recipe, I found out um, by watching a video on a channel called Chili Chump. And... He did a deep dive and tried to find the original recipe. I did a little deeper dive and I found out that the person he got the recipe from actually got it from somebody else named Rebecca. She has a site called uh, Foodies with Family, uh, something like that. And I left a link to that also so you can get the original one. In both of those uh, original recipes, there's a little calculator where you can adjust the amounts based on the, the volume of what you want. Honestly, I would say if you're going to make this and you have the jars, make at least four jars, which will probably take you uh, about four pounds of jalapenos. That seems like a lot, I know, but you can give these away to friends, family. Um, my neighbors love it. Every time I make a batch, I give them a jar. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. I know you'll enjoy this if you make it. Um, tune in again soon because I'm going to do something with the leftover syrup. I'm going to make um, pork belly burnt ends in this syrup instead of barbecue sauce. And we'll see how that turns out. Uh, spoiler alert, turns out pretty damn good. <laughs> Yummy! So I'll see you on the next one. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. And I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe and keep cooking. Mm. Probably shouldn't have done this on an empty stomach. <laughs> it's really good, though.